Kia ora, I'm Sheree Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Jacinda Ardern and her Japanese counterpart Fumio Kishida have come out swinging against Russia. The pair met for the first time last night, sitting down for a bilateral in Tokyo. They covered many topics with Kishida saying they were united in their condemnation of the invasion. Our Prime Minister says the partnership matters because Japan and New Zealand must cooperate in what is a deeply uncertain global environment. Meanwhile, in Ukraine, many civilians remain trapped inside the city of Mariupol. Vladimir Putin has ordered his Russian troops not to storm the steel plant where the last group of Ukrainian fighters is holding out with some women and children. He's instead told them to seal the area so that no one can escape. Back here, there's been a surge in demand for travel agents as the world reopens. The Travel Agents Association says the industry has shrunk from around 5,000 people prior to the pandemic to roughly 1,500. Spokesman Brent Thomas says flurries of bookings from New Zealanders seeking an international getaway are putting those left under pressure. The industry now is definitely looking for people to come back into it, both at the front line in terms of consultants, but also right through the whole industry. A call for New Zealanders to acknowledge soldiers still serving today, the 100th anniversary of Poppy Day. The RSA will be doing its annual street donation drive with a focus on highlighting younger veterans. It says more than 30,000 of them are under the age of 50. New Zealand's ports are the wild west when it comes to health and safety. That's from a coalition of sector unions who have banded together to call for a meeting with the Minister for Workplace Relations and Safety. It follows the tragic death of a 26-year-old at Auckland's port on Tuesday, the fourth since 2017. Maritime Union National Secretary Craig Harrison says safety standards aren't doing their job. It's just a tragedy where you see these young lives being snuffed out so needlessly. We need to sort of take stock what's going on. Everyone needs to take ownership of it. And the Queen will celebrate her 96th birthday today. Her Majesty has travelled to her Norfolk estate to celebrate at the farmhouse where the Duke of Edinburgh spent much of his retirement. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.